disc number two. Daylight Dies. Record begins with basically a recitation of do not go gently into that good night. I've always loved it. Uh, ever since my old English teacher went and recited it in class, I go, wouldn't that be awesome as an intro to a song? <laughs> Rage against the dying of the light. <laughs> I said, wow, that would be freaking awesome. So I put a little soundscape behind it that makes it sound like, like this world was ending. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty freaking cool. Come to the next track, which is its title track, Daylight Dies. I didn't know what it was going to turn into, but uh, this track is uh, basically turned into this idea about this symbiotic relationship between a man and his girlfriend who just happens to be a vampire. And uh, how he's trying to help her get victims. And there's always this, uh, this kind of twisted relationship, like how he's trying to help her survive and gain more power. It was... Uh, it's kind of it's kind of tongue in cheek in a lot of ways, but it's very dark in other ways. So, very like it for its really unique kind of vibe and subject matter. It's a cool track.
Bleeding silence. This one's more so about how music can be a release for you. I know it is for me. Um, I also was a very uh, someone who internalized anger, but as a result, I became a pretty prolific writer as a result. Because if you have things that are balled up inside you, sometimes things can just explode out of you and you don't like what those particular things are. And as a result, the lyrics kind of reflect that particular idea, that darkness that you don't really perceive that's inside you. You can be shocked by the darkness that one can carry around with you. So as a result, bleeding silence. In that silence. There's always that, uh, the hatred, the anger that's kind of brewing underneath the surface and how destructive it can be. When it's hard to live, it's hard to believe. But you ever forget to fulfill the need? I'm thankful for every inch. Play your temple on the street.
The next track is uh, called A Sound of Thunder, which really comes from my fear of storms. But in a lot of ways, the song is really not about storms, even though it like contains a lot of thunder and wind kind of effects that kind of like talk about what the genesis of that particular song is in particular. It's not really about that primarily. It's really about fear itself and how it really stops you from living as much as you could. It's uh, pretty neat.
uh, the next track is called Aphelion. And Aphelion is kind of an astronomical term for when the Earth gets its furthest from the Sun. And you'll notice that a lot with these particular records, with these uh, song titles that have to do with darkness and the shadows. And Aphelion is when you get really far away from the Sun. Um, it's really about human nature and how we just can't seem to get our act together and how we're always kind of moving into the shadow, into the darkness. But uh, like life, everything goes in a circle and eventually we're going to come into the light. Aphelion. Here is the mountain that swallows all the pain The fear of forever that brings me to disdain We're in this together, the wrath that will just stay This lonely endeavor, the path that twists and stains And hearts are cleaved in Change and the hearts are bleeding. 
um, the next song, uh, Full Eclipse. And this is a song about how we're always kind of in the, always in the dark a lot, but we got to pretty much step out of the shadow in order to have a more optimistic kind of life. And the chorus is it's very, very different than the, than the actual verse in the song, which almost has a, a kind of a flamingo kind of shuffle kind of feel to it. One of the lyrics in the song says, You will find wasted time for those who leave nothing behind. It's, um, it's, a, it's a cool track about trying to gain some foothold of positivity in a world that's very negative. Falling away The domination 
The next track is Deliver Me From You. And originally this track was about toxic people, which things change lyrically. And uh, in November of last year, I got a kidney stone. And if anyone that's had one of those, there's some inspiration for you. That can hurt. And as a result, everything came together with this track. The um, solo on this one is going to be done by done by a guitarist named Kevin Deliri, and uh, exceptional, exceptional guitar player. And it's it's a cool track. Has an old school kind of feel to it. Uh, power metally kind of solo section in it. And it's, uh, it hits all the right notes.
weight of creation. This track has got a lot of different kind of vibes going on with it. Um, one of the major vibes in the song is it's like a, a melodic metal vibe. Then there's almost this really grandiose, melancholic halftime vibe. And then there's this summer of 69 sing-along kind of chorus that the song has, very hooky. And it's about how the religion, pretty much in in the world, has way too much political power for its own good. And hence we're always kind of struggling with the on the seesaw of the weight of creation to try to control society and try to keep it away from the religious. The uh, people who don't have common sense. People who can't make decisions without their holy book. Things like that. And they put us all in danger.
the Judas steer. And the Judas steer is a cow that you train in order to lead the others into the slaughterhouse van. So I love the name of this particular particular track. So as a result it's pretty much about the mainstream news and media. About how they just feed you lies in order to make you follow a certain agenda. So it's like the news broadcaster, the one that's reading the script, the ones that are, the ones that, you know that, that are leading you astray, and it's pretty cool. Solo done by my buddy, Wojciech Tobola. <laughs>
ABQ. It's uh, one of the older songs in terms of the original writing process, but a lot of the uh, extra riffs on the track they got uh, added kind of at a later time when the album was uh, kind of coming to its conclusion, like always, always adding more. Uh, this one is about that uh, television show, Breaking Bad. Walter White. <laughs> so, uh, it's a cool theme for a song to be about. Iron Maiden had this penchant for doing songs about television shows and movies that were before my time. And uh, I know that there's a lot of horror rock bands that tend to do that as well, to have these songs about, about zombie movies. But this one, ABQ about Walter White and Breaking Bad. ABQ was the actual airport code for Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as a result, there's a lot of Latin themes and um, there's a horn sections, big band stuff that you wouldn't expect. So that makes that track particularly unique. Yeah. 
Sundown. <laughs> it's, um... Here's another track about how society can be very negative, and people can try to drag you down with them. And this one's a pretty much about trying to break away from those particular people that pull you into the darkness. And if um, any track almost has a kind of poppy mainstream feel to it, it's this track. It's 
last track on this one, Tears of the Sun. This one is about another song about everything. Everything in one's life, but for the most part it can be about disappointment. Disappointment in oneself. Not reaching the potential that you would like for oneself. The way that society views those who cannot reach their potential. This track is eight minutes long, which, I mean, fittingly, is the amount of time that it takes for the light to get to the, to, uh, to the earth from the sun. Uh, it's a cool, and it's a cool way to end this particular volume. Volume 2, Daylight Dies.
Oh, oh, oh.